Extreme Aluminium Boats was founded way back in 1998. They are proudly New Zealand and New Zealand's most awarded boat building manufacturer. The reason I fell in love with the brand is because it's family owned and they are just keen about fishing and boating. With over 20 different models in the range, from five to 11 meters in length, it was almost impossible to choose the boat I wanted. I was spoiled, but then the 795, she just shone out from the crowd. With self flooding keels and a nice wide beam, they have incredible stability at rest. And the large reverse chines make them dry and predictable, tracking super well in both following and quarter on seas. These boats are built from the ground up with the best possible materials, including 5083 marine grade alloy. And at Extreme Boats, it's all about attention to detail. Well, to me, boating is all about feeling good and of course, looking good. You've got to look the part. My dad always said, if you can't be a great footballer, at least look like one. This sea deck, which covers the entire inside of the boat, some of the sides, the front, and even the roof is just unbelievable. It is so good underfoot. We do 12, 14 hour days sometimes, and it just helps so much with fatigue. It is so soft. The other thing I love is the fact that I've got my fish rules actually in the deck there. I can measure fish up to 1.5 meters just by laying them on the deck and then blood guts etc not a problem it cleans like an absolute dream the reason for this sea deck doesn't actually absorb water how good is that so makes it nice and simple the other great thing too it protects all of those beautiful painted surfaces when things bang up against them now upstairs so amazing sea deck on the roof I spent a lot of time up there casting and also looking for the right place to fish it is so good having that underfoot and knowing you're not gonna go A over T well, if you're looking for bling, you can't go past the nine kilo 316 stainless steel sav slide anchor. It is amazing. So clever, this shack here actually slides up the shaft of the anchor. So if you happen to get stuff on reef, etc., you just drive forward, slides out, and pulls it in the opposite direction, pulling it out of the reef. That is pretty cool. Then it is connected to a 1500 triple S sav winch. Unbelievable bit of gear full 316 stainless steel. Not only is the winch IP68 rated, it also features a patented injection mold inside the motor. This removes the air pockets to avoid condensation inside the motor and prevents the motor from rotting on the inside. And most importantly for me, it's Australian designed and engineered by a small Australian family business. And by far the best thing about my sav winch, literally up, down, push of a button, you're gonna catch more fish because you're gonna be prepared to move more because you know you're not gonna hurt your back every time you do it. The 795 Game King comes in an open cab like this, an enclosed cabin and a walk around, but I chose this model for these reasons. There's a ladder on both sides of the cab and each step actually has extra grip. Then I just love this, a massive platform up here that I can actually look to see weed when I'm whiting fishing. I can get up to see if there's any birds when I'm on the tuna. If I'm trolling for game fish, how good is this? Seriously, it's the ultimate bird's eye view and it's so sturdy, it's just a great place to hang out. There's plenty of room up the front here for casting, which is a real bonus. And even though it's not a true walk around, you can see it is quite easy to get around the cabin and that gives you extra room inside. And when it comes to rod holders, 18 of them, because you can never have enough fishing rods and you can never have enough places to put them. Well, it's just incredible how much attention my G-Fab aluminum trail has got since I put it under my new Extreme 795 Game King. I first heard about G-Fab at the Sydney Boat Show a few years back. Danny Sunkel come and introduced himself. He showed me the trails he was making it and I was literally blown away. These things aren't just boat trailers. They are literally a work of art and a fashion statement. When you look underneath the boat and you see one of these, you literally just go, holy moly, that is amazing. This thing, it blows people away. Now I'm not mechanically minded. I'm not engineer minded, if that makes sense. But every person who has seen this trailer that has ever picked up a welder, just the draw literally drops to the ground. This aluminium construction, the welds, everything about it is absolute perfection. Perfection. From the 70 mil coupling down here, all that hardware, just look how tough it is. And little things like the best jockey wheel in the business. And you wouldn't believe it, I've had boats for over 20 years. I've never had a jockey wheel that is actually on the correct side of the trailer, which is that side. And finally, GFAB got it right. Now when I'm backing up to the ball, I can have a look. When I get it right, I don't have to step over the drawbar every time. And come and have a look at some of this stuff. Well, in the old days, people bought beautiful boats and then just put any crappy trailer underneath them and that trend is changing. You're gonna buy a beautiful boat, you'll want a beautiful boat trailer. And when you look at the way these things are engineered, of course, you're gonna go with GFAB. One thing that's very, very important, they don't just mass produce trailers, they specifically build every trailer to suit the exact boat and hull. So she fits absolutely beautifully on the trailer, no moving. I've seen boats in the past rocking and rolling, all the bits aren't even touching. When you look at these keel rollers, how beautiful is that? All this support, support on the edge with those slides. And then the great thing that I love, a massive V at the back. So no matter where I come in, even if the nose hits here, it's gonna slide along that Teflon, 
find the middle, go straight up the guts and fit absolutely beautifully every time. Because this trailer has been specifically designed for my hull, as they will do for you, it makes launching and retrieving so easy. The other thing is towing, it is so good. It tows beautifully because it's perfectly balanced. Now, when it comes to launching and retrieving, which is probably the hardest thing to do in boating, it's so easy. You've got the boat catch down here, makes getting it off, putting it back on an absolute dream. And then, if you're in a situation where you actually have to winch because some ramps are a little bit flat, how good is this big electric winch? She will just bring her in, no dramas at all, and it's even remote control. The battery in the box there supplies the winch, and it's even got a little charging cord and comes with a charger. So when I get home, I bang it in, I've always got 100% battery. Seriously, these guys at GFAB, they have taken trailers to the next level. Make sure you check them out at gfabtrailers.com, and then you'll understand why I'm so happy with mine. Well, at the end of the day, this couple of square meters just here is probably considered my office. It's where I spend a lot of time and a lot of thought went into the configuration of this setup. The ladder, sturdy and strong, fantastic for diving or just getting in and out of the boat in the garage. I love the fact I can literally step through on both sides of the bait station so I can get to fish, tangles, whatever else I need to do. But there is also a slide that goes in there to give me that extra safety aspect. Then massive live bait tank under here. Big window, you can make sure the baits are always kicking and there's plenty of fresh oxygenated water pumping in there. The bait station itself is fantastic. Cutting board, measurer, more rod holders, a grab rail on both sides, because when you're at sea, you always need a grab rail. Then you've got a big drawer at the front there, put all your fishing tackle, etc. in. Tuna tubes, two big tuna tubes built into the hull. So handy, have your stripey ready, marlin comes up, bang. It's all about making it simple. And even this, how clever, there's a little hatch in the floor here. You open it up, drop your burly bucket in. When you're not using the burly bucket, it comes out and you'd never know it was there. I would literally be lost without this thing here, the Humminbird Solix 15. Seriously, I'd be lost. But most importantly, this thing finds me fish. I've been using Humminbird for years now and I do it because they are reliable and they've got a feature called Mega Side Imaging. And I'm here to tell you in salt water, it is the bee's knees. I can literally see a reef 200 metres out to the side, then spin around, put a lock on it, bang, and catch the fish that are sitting on it. For the normal sounder, I would have just kept on driving because I wouldn't have known it was there. I was off Port Stephens fishing a couple of years ago. I thought I was running straight over the bait schools. When I looked at the side imaging, they were actually 50 metres out to the side. Pulled around, took the livey through them, bang, black marlin, there you go. Seriously, if I don't find fish, I can't pay the bills. I won't have a lot of fun. And this thing has rocked my world. Thanks, Dale. There is nothing worse when you're on a boat and your phone goes flat. I just love this Scanstrut Rock wireless phone charger. Even in that big case, it is now charging my phone. Absolutely amazing. And hooks up from a JBL stereo, so I can even play some tunes. Well, it's the little things that make a big difference. And sometimes it's things on a boat that you wouldn't even think about. We fitted Dometic EPS steering, and it is amazing. I've got 400 horsepower there, and I can literally turn the wheel with just one finger. It's pretty much the same as having power steering in a car. And it's not until you feel this that you'll know just how amazing it is. The cabin up the front here is absolutely huge. Sleeps me, Christy, and Jet, not a problem at all. There's four massive shelves, plenty of room for storage. And as you can see, I always take a little bit more gear than I might need, and I think you might be the same. There's nothing worse at sea. You're going along, this all bounces out all over the floor. Extreme of thought about this too. How good's this? Slides down, lock it, and you're ready to go. Between the seats, there is a massive kill tank, really good for big fish and lots of fish if you happen to get lucky. And I put so much thought into this configuration because storage is so important. So at the fridge here, anytime you want a bevy, thank you very much. And a little freezer, two big drawers there, a compartment at the back. This is a massive slide out drawer, perfect for your chili bin, esky, whatever. And there's another compartment at the back there and I've actually put all the batteries up here for weight distribution and also easy access. I've got my proper driver's chair there and on this side the chair actually comes out and reverses so you can make it a full bed, sit forward or backwards and seriously it is super comfy. And then there is the incredible 2.8 metre beam. This boat is seriously wide, in fact over 40 centimetres wider than any boat I've ever owned before. Check this out, you can literally fish one, two, three, four people across the back and it's some serious width. Well, it's always a massive decision as to how you're gonna power your boat. I went with twin F200 Yamahas. They are seriously good engines. They're probably the flagship model in the whole Yamaha fleet. They're really popular with recreational boaters and commercial operators due to their lightweight, big horsepower, 
excellent fuel economy and the fact that we know of some of these engines that have done over 3,000 hours without missing a beat. They're also an extremely compact engine considering how many horsepowers they put out. The other great thing about these, they're counter-rotating. So the props don't both spin this way, they actually counter-rotate, go in opposite directions. That is so unbelievable when it comes to steering and maneuvering your boat because I can literally steer without even moving the wheel. This model comes with Yamaha's fly-by-wire digital electronic control, offering extremely smooth gear shifting. Combine this with Yamaha's exclusive shift dampening system, which takes out the clunk when shifting in and out of gear, these engines deliver a smoother and more enjoyable ride. And of course, probably the most important point, they're Yamaha, so they're absolutely bulletproof. Make sure you service them, flush them when you get home, and they're pretty much gonna last forever. Well, they say simple things amuse simple minds. I was blown away with this feature on the Extreme the first time I saw it, and I still can't believe it. You got blood all over your hands. Normally you had to lean over the side of the boat, try and wash them, but not anymore. Lean and wash. Seriously, that is just too cool for school. Well, I hope you enjoyed the run through on the beautiful iFish Extreme 795 Game King. She sure is a beautiful boat. We put years into getting this thing right, and I'm really happy with the result. If you ever see us out in the water, make sure you come and say good day.